There are a lot of shifting parts of the MTA this week. The agency chairman, Pat Foy, put in his last day today, and interim New York City Transit President, Sarah Feinberg, announced that she's stepping down effective tomorrow. So who is in charge, and how will the shakeup affect commuters? Our Richard Giacovas went looking for answers. After a four-year tenure at the helm of the largest public transit authority in the United States, Pat Foy walked out of his office Thursday to cheers. I have been an honor and a privilege uh, to uh, be asked to, to lead the organization. And come Friday, interim New York City Transit Authority President Sarah Feinberg plans to leave after the state legislature resisted Governor Cuomo's plan to transition Feinberg to MTA chair. That would have split the chairman and CEO positions held by Foy. But without that approval, Feinberg reportedly says she's out, and it begs the question, who really is in charge of the MTA starting this weekend? Jano Lieber is in charge, and he's very knowledgeable. He's got a great record of accomplishment. Jano Lieber has been the MTA construction boss since 2017, but in this shuffle of leadership, Lieber becomes acting chairman and CEO. Cuomo wanted Lieber, but asked for Feinberg, too. The problem was the Senate didn't want to change the laws to split the two roles. It was unclear if the state Senate would reconvene in recess and pass the governor's uh, proposal to split the chairmanship into chair and CEO. And that leaves the job as head of New York City Transit empty for now. MTA board member Andrew Albert says it's vital that a replacement or at least an interim president is found soon. The transit carries the vast lion's share of, of transportation in the tri-state area, and we have to have a person in charge. We reached out to the MTA multiple times Thursday to ask who will replace Sarah Feinberg and who will ultimately be the next New York City Transit president. We haven't heard back. Word Columbus Circle, Richard Giacobus, Fox 5 News.